but it's like the sound. Y'all already know this is your boy Dream Big back at it again with another video for you guys coming in before the new year. Once again, I want to I want to say to all you guys, Happy New Year to all you guys. Hope you guys had a great holidays. I already know what it is, y'all. Y'all say, Chris, Dream Big, yo, you've been gone for mad long, and no, I didn't forget about you guys. Uh, just been a little busy, been out of town. Now I'm back in town. Um, I'm about to put up a vlog up from Dallas on my other channel. So once again, hit that link down below. Uh, join my vlogging channel, we building up. Um, also, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Wow, now that we got that housekeeping out the way, um, today we're gonna do the top, my, today we're gonna do my top 10 albums of 2017. Uh, really, when I say albums, I'm just saying uh, hip hop rap albums. Uh, I may also do an R&B, like a top R&B albums that came out this year, because there was a lot of, there was a lot of good R&B this year. Uh, but this, we're just going to keep this strictly hip-hop, strictly rap, um, and without further ado. I just want to put a disclaimer, because I don't want to hear it in my comment section or nothing. Well, it's fine if I hear it in my comment section, I just want y'all to know I don't give a fuck. Uh, so, uh, just want to let y'all know this is my top 10. If your top 10 you feel should be different, feel free to comment down below what your top 10 would be. But this is my top 10, my favorites of 2017. Uh, so, here we go. So, coming in at number 10, I got my boy, uh, I couldn't leave this guy off my top 10. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of hate towards this album, um, but I definitely bump a lot of tracks off this album till this day. And coming in at number 10, it's your boy Six Guy, Drizzy Drake, OVO Sound. Boy is on uh, Mr. Dedication Family Feud. Uh, more Life. Got More Life coming in at number 10. Yes, I know, I know. Chris, you're such a Drake fan. You just couldn't leave him off the top, just couldn't leave him off the top 10. Oh uh, uh, yeah, man, uh, for me, he's definitely on my top 10 for this year, I'm still I'm still bumping his music. I still listen to Passion Fruit. Uh, now, am I going to say, am I going to go a lie and say this is Drake's best work or anything like that? Hell no, this shit is not his best work. Um, but I would say there's a good five tracks that I could still bump off this album. So, um, yeah. All right, coming in at another nine, I got Rick Ross, Rather You Than Me. Um, now, I am not really a Rick Ross fan, but when I heard this album, you know, I really couldn't deny that, yo, Rick Ross got one. You know, I you know, I like some of Rick Ross's music, some of his uh, self-made uh, self mixtapes and things with MMG, um, but I've never really been a too, too much of a big fan. Uh, I think Rick Ross has a phenomenal... Uh, rap voice and I like his aggressiveness and I think this project he really went on out I like the fact um, I really like the fact that he's sticking up for Lil Wayne on this out on that first track going at Birdman um, and I think he got a lot of he got a lot of hits he got a lot of hit songs on there that trap 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 uh, it still goes off you know I can still play that to this day and uh, I think I think it's a phenomenal album from Rick Ross and I think that's a good way uh, to come back because uh, I feel like a lot of his previous projects coming leading up to this Nobody was really listened to besides you Rick Ross fans uh, Number eight coming in at number eight. I got Migos culture uh, Migos have this is the Migos year. This is bad and bougie offsetting Cardi uh, Take off getting taken off every track Quavo's on everybody's everybody's hook uh, collab project with Travis Scott. Uh, they're all through Bill. They're practically full of. They're practically Billboard's top ten all year. All year they had hits, hits all year. So I can't deny them. They put out a phenomenal project this year. Um, I don't think there's a track I can really skip on Culture. Um, it's a real turned up track. It's a real turned up album, man. Uh, 
I mean, it's not it's not anything you go for lyrics. You already know Migos is not lyrical, uh, but it's definitely a great turn up album, and I enjoyed it a lot, and I still enjoy it till this day. So coming in at number seven for you guys, I got Titty Boy, Two Chains, Pretty Girls Like Trap Music. Uh, I think this is a good album. I'm not really a Two Chains fan like that either, but this was a great album. He came out with that. Uh, that 4 a.m. Uh, came out with his first single, uh, 4 a.m. Dope track. He came well first. He came out with that that song with Drake, uh, Big Amount. Big Amount was cool. Then he came with 4 a.m. with Travis Scott. Uh, I think it was a good. I think it was a great album. There's a lot of great songs on there, and you know, as long as I don't get those, uh, I was talking to the stove bars from Two Chains. I'm pretty happy with them. I think he has a great flow. I think he has a talent for finding the right people to be featured on the song. And I think he builds he builds great chemistry on tracks with other artists, and uh, I like what he, I like what he talks about when he's not talking about like really dumb shit. So, uh, good album, Two Chains. Coming in at number six, I got Jid the Never Story. Uh, you already know it's Dreamville, baby. You already know uh, I support anything Dreamville, and this is an amazing album from Jid um, the Never Story. Uh, I could really relate. I should probably have this album higher. I could really relate to it. I think that a lot of a lot of people, um, you know, you always have that doubt in your head. You know, you really put your heart into doing something, whether it's YouTube or rap or whatever it is. And, you know, people are always telling you, nah, you're not going to make it. Da, 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 da. And it only takes that one moment. So, you know, to meet the to meet somebody like J. Cole and that whole thing can change your life. And no, just go for your opportunities. I think this whole album does a great job of telling a great story about, you know, like he never thought like he would make it. He never thought he would sign Dreamville. He never thought he would meet J. Cole and be the artist he is. So uh, respect to him. Uh, I love the album. I really appreciate it. To be honest, I probably should have it higher in my list. But right now it's number six. Coming in at number five in it bit. I uh, got G Easy. Uh, I gotta look at the dial. It's G Easy, the beautiful, the beautiful and damned. Uh, this is an amazing album. This is absolutely slept on. If you haven't listened to G Easy, you need to listen to G Easy. Yo, this album is crazy good. Um, don't even just minus that uh, that um, no limit with Cardi B and stuff. That's a great song. Uh, and all, but don't don't judge him off of that song. Like that song was strictly to get y'all to listen to his album. Like to get grab y'all people's attention that haven't been listening to him for years. He's been out, you know, Oakland, California. He's from Oakland. Uh, really dope. Uh, really dope artist, man. He got some bars. I I love. I, I really love his music. He's probably gonna be one of my top one of my top new artists. Uh, coming up for 2017, even though he's been around for a couple years now. But coming in at number four, we got your boy Big Crit. Forever is a mighty long time. You already know what it is, Mississippi Stand Up. Uh, man, great album. You already know how I feel about this album. You've seen the review, and if you haven't seen the review for this album, go search through my videos and go watch the review. But uh, oh no, I think it was an amazing album. I I, I think. Def Jen messed up, letting him go. Uh, they definitely should have let him go. The production was absolutely amazing. Uh, bars were amazing. And um, yeah, he just did an amazing job on here. Uh, a lot of the features were really good considering he just went independent. He built, he built a lot of relationships over the years being in the business. So yeah, man, support the indie artists, man. Doing big things out here, doing big things. Uh, other than that, coming in at, coming in at number three, Joey Badass, All-American Badass, uh, definitely dope album, uh, you already see where the top is going, you know, this is more of a political stance, uh, album, I think he does a great job of giving us a vivid picture of, you know, how he feels about the state of America, and, you know, what what he thinks, you know, what he draws a great picture of what's going on. Um, 
in the United States and you know how black people are being treated and how things are you know unjust and how people are getting shot uh, things like that and how people a certain group thinks is oh like they don't really understand what's really going on and like people getting off uh, without serving time and walking free uh, he just it, it's just it's just a great it's a great way I don't think he went like too crazy with it he didn't go too deep into it but uh and he didn't really give a solution uh to how we fix things like that which is fine I, I enjoyed the music for what it is uh definitely on my top three uh for this year uh it was earlier in this year so a lot of y'all might have forgotten about it but um I definitely go back to it from time to time when I'm just chilling in my car and uh it's really dope music to vibe out to Coming in at number two, I got, I got, I got, I got royalty and royalty. <laughs> got <he. laughs> I got royalty and loyalty inside my DNA. Uh, it's your boy Kendrick Lamar. Damn album. Uh, great album. Do I even need to say more? Kendrick has been on the top all year long. Uh, everybody's been saying top album of the year. La, 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 la. Um, yeah, this is a. This was probably one of my third or fourth favorite albums from Kendrick Lamar. Uh, I think I love the fact that he kind of stepped outside of his comfort zone. And just production-wise, he kind of stepped out of his, side, his comfort zone production-wise and created, you guys, this more commercial-friendly, uh, poppy sound that get catch, that was just catchy you could play the you could even play some of these songs in the club i'm pretty sure you play humble in the club um people would definitely turn up but they'll sing it word for word um i think that's very important now in the music industry um and i don't feel like this album was good even though it's more commercial i don't feel like he sold out to try to make it like a corny pop album or anything like that um so I really, I do really do appreciate that uh, from Kendrick because he still kept it true to his core friends. He still had that message within um, all his music. He still kept it real cultured for us. So I really appreciate Kendrick Lamar for that. And that's why he is number two on this list. But number one, y'all already know who it is. It's your boy HOV444 up in this. Uh, you already know. Uh, 444 was an amazing album for 2017. It changed a lot of stuff. You got, you got, you got Drake saying he needs to invest and, in, you know, make sure he gets some ownership in some companies. You got people questioning themselves about keeping the money phone to their ear. I know it's kind of like a running joke now, uh, but you really got people thinking like thought provoking shit on here. Um, you know, he, he, he was very vulnerable on the album. We talked about a lot, you know, I felt like I learned a lot on that album, not just, you know, about, not just about like, you know, investing and doing better things with your money besides like just throwing it away at the strip club or whatever, you know, you gotta do some grown man stuff, you know, take care of your family, you know, I learned a lot about him. Um, and his mom, I learned a lot, um, I learned, you know, more so from the interviews and stuff, I learned about him, him and Kanye's relationship, uh, kind of got the background on how he felt about that, and, uh, you know, him cheating on Beyonce, like, uh, and how he dealt with that, and how he regrets it, uh, I think, I, uh, so I even need to say more, uh, number one, 444, amazing album, now, Honorary mention, uh, Big Sean's, I decided, um, it ain't quite make it to my top 10, but, uh, if I had a top 15, it would definitely be there. Uh, Big Sean, I decided, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this top 10 list for 2017, leave a comment. Let me know what y'all, y'all 2017 top albums are, hip-hop albums. You can even throw R&B in there. Just let me know what y'all think it was the top. I'll be back with another video. I'm back home now. Dream Squad, stand up. Hey.